he just looked like sunk. And he said, I don't know what to do. If I put in more boys, there'll be more killing. If I take out boys, there'll be more killing. Anything I do, there's going to be more killing. Come on, all of you big strong men. Uncle Sam needs your help again. He's got himself in a terrible jam. Way down yonder in Vietnam. Gino hears a thunderous roar to his rear and his right. He sees a glow like when you look at the sun with your eyes closed. He feels his naked body being sprayed by pebbles. He feels his body being lifted into the air, and he thinks an explosion has gone off nearby, and then he realizes, I am right in the explosion. And it's one, a two, a three, what are we fighting for? Don't ask me, I don't give a damn. Next up is Vietnam. That's right, I do support the war. I had the same old argument with my best friend Mike Duba before I left home. Mike, you look and you smell like a sheep. <laughs> Dave, the Vietnamese have been under foreign domination throughout their history. The Chinese, the French, now the Americans. All they want is their freedom. <clears throat> Mike, communism isn't freedom. The domino theory is not bullshit. If you and your buddies would just stop protesting for a week, this war would be over. A Dave, a down in the Saigon, only a two kind of a battles. The ones we won, and the ones we won. <laughs> this is why Viet Cong casualties always are heavy, and American casualties always are light. Dear Mike, um, uh, things are going great here. Um, the other day they put up a small basketball court down by the three-quarter cab mess hall. I got into a couple of pickup games. It was great. And it's five, six, seven, open up the pearly gates. Ah, ain't no time to wonder why we're all going to die. Gino says, they're walking them this way. Why don't they get them? Where are the fucking choppers? Joe Kramer yells, My God, they're coming closer! David Fisher screams, Jimmy, let's get in that Jeep over there and get the fuck out of here! And so I moved into the Haight-Ashbury during the summer of love. And on October 12, 1967, I marched from Golden Gate Park with my stinky, long-haired friend, Mike Duba, to the steps of San Francisco City Hall, chanting all the way. Hey, hey, LBJ, how many kids you killed in a day? Hey, hey.